Hello. Um, I've had several people ask if I could take you shopping with me sometime, like grocery shopping. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to try to do that today. I don't know how it's going to go. If I have any problems, I'll mention it in the comments below. But um, we're going to give it a try. <laughs> uh, all right. Now, first of all, I have to get my my grocery list out of my pocket. We're over here at the lotion section. Um, because you don't have that dragon skin. All right, so, uh, my list I have Alternil Lotion, Nail Polish Remover, Pantyhose, Carpet Cleaner, Gallon Size Ziploc Bags, Olive Oil, Eggs, Waffles, and Lime Marita. Don't you judge me. Okay. Don't leave it there, you'll lose it. Okay. First, I want to show you the cart. Now, this is a typical size uh, Walmart shopping cart. If you've never seen one, here's what it looks like. And this, this is nothing, actually. Uh, you see how deep it is. Now, if you saw a card at Costco, it is, it is even bigger than this. It's wider. It comes way out here. It's like driving a Buick around in Costco. Um, this is a Walmart cart. And I'm going to try to steer it with one hand. I have no idea how that's going to go. <laughs> and what I'm looking for, the lotion I'm looking for is actually for um, work. I keep it in my office because the soap in the bathroom where I work is horrible. Oh, look at this. I've never seen this before. I don't know where the heck this even came from. Oh, it's, yeah, it is that. I've tried that. But I keep, I keep lotion at my, at my office, in my office because the soap in the bathroom, it dries my hands out so bad. Um, now we have all different kinds. We have Aveeno, Gold Bond, Eucerin, um, CeraVe is what I use, but it's weird because they have their CeraVe in different places, like they have this, but this is not it. I always have to look for it. I have no idea why they do this. I may not even be able to find it. Sometimes I can't find it. Um, let's see, we have Vaseline, which is fine, Jergens. Suave lotion. They all this is all lotion. <laughs> all this is lotion. It's kind of hard to choose sometimes. Let's see. I may go with something a little different. Um. Hmm. I don't like the tub like that. I want something with the pump on it that's easier to get out. Eucerin is good. Lubriderm is good. Maybe I can go with something different. Like, um, something like this. And it's fragrance free, which is good. Um, several people at work have sensitivities to uh, perfumes. Um, I think I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to try this Original Healing Emollient Enri Enriched Eucerin. So we're going to get this one. So that takes care of that. Now let me look at my list again. I tried to write it according to um, where things are in the store. Um, Alternil is a uh, sleep aid. Those are down here. Now I'm having to push the cart with one hand. Sometimes that's not easy. I try to get a good cart. So you come around here. I'm just going to kind of show you um, like we have Q-tips and bath salts stuff. We're going to come this way. We're over in kind of the pharmacy section. Um, I have to park my cart for a second. I think I see they've recently rearranged all this stuff. Um, okay, here are the sleep aids. Let me guess they're out. Sometimes they're out. I think they're out. I want to say, this is one of my complaints about Walmart. Oh, no, they're not. There it is. Alternil. I take this stuff at night, and it really helps. It really makes a difference. It's kind of, it's kind of expensive. It's $16.94. And somebody asked me, what is the orange price? This is the unit price. So if you're comparing the price of one item to another item. You can look at the unit price. 
Um, and sometimes that will be per ounce or, you know, whatever the item is, like for this uh, Z quill, which, just as a tip, it's nothing but diphenhydramine, which is just Benadryl. You can just get generic Benadryl and it's a lot cheaper. It's the exact same thing. You can look at the unit price and it tells you how much it costs per fluid ounce. It's 56.1 cents per fluid ounce. So you can compare and see which is less expensive that way. That's what the orange price is. So I take these at night. But even though it's $16.94, this is cheaper than any other store around here. Um, CVS is nearly twice as much. Um, so, okay, that's my alternate. I'm going to walk back over here. down in there and turn my cart around. It's kind of early in the morning, so it's really not all that crowded in here. Um, oh, look, they have their autumn decorations out. I have to show you this. <laughs> Welcome autumn harvest. You know she would have a sarcastic remark in response to that. They don't really have much for Thanksgiving and fall. Like, <laughs> that's basically just this little bit here. Kind of sad, really. Um, oh, I forgot nail polish remover. I gotta go back. You see the aisles. And now, like I said, it's, it's gonna be a lot more crowded later in the day. It's uh, it's see, yeah, it's gonna be worse. You come in later. But right now, it's not too terrible. Over here is the cosmetic section. When we were arranging nail polish the other day, I came over here. Hello, video camera. Um, the nail polish actually isn't too bad today. I'm not here to organize it though. I came to get a uh, nail polish remover. And naturally, the one I want is not here. So I guess I will have to pick this one. I don't care. It doesn't matter. No moisturizing formula. Good enough. I'm not that worried about it. Okay. So we've got the... I can't really tell the difference, honestly, between the moisturizing and the regular. I don't think it really matters. So come back this way. Magic bullet. Woohoo. And then you have coffee pots. A little bit of everything. Oh, and then we have the Keurig little single cup coffee makers. An ice cube maker. Wow. All right. We have these little air fryers. Put that in my cart. Okay. That should be everything over here. Now I need pantyhose. I got some out the other day. Oh, this is cute. Look at that little cookie jar. That's adorable. I got my pantyhose out the other day, and over the summer, apparently, my, my elastic in them started to go. Look at the little baking sets. How adorable. Um, and over here you have cooking stuff. You have all the like cooking utensils and whatnot. Now I have more to get than just what's on my list. There are items that I buy every week. I don't even bother writing them down because I get them every week. <laughs> There's no, I don't need to write it down. The photo pillows, cool. Uh, and the clothes are over there. That's actually where I need to be because that's where you get the um, and over here we have the electronics department, all the TVs back there. They go back a ways. You can see back there. Cell phones, and whatnot. Movies. Oh, they got all their Christmas movies. Look, I own all these. I do literally. I have like all these movies. That's a nice collection. I have this, um, the Peanuts holiday collection. Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. That's cool. Yeah, I think I have...
pretty much every one of these. Oh, they have Christmas classic favorites. Mm. Oh. It's only $10. That's not bad. Mm. All right. No, like I said, I already, I have all my movies already. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's one of those thingamajigs. Look, it's a big, sorry. It's a, I know what it's called, but I can't think of it right now. I don't have my kids here to tell me. That's cool. Star Wars Battlefront 2. Nice. That's cool. Look at this. Oh, my God. I want this in my front yard. <laughs> All right, then. And so, um, okay, over here we have the girls' clothes. Um, just like kids' stuff. Um, I need to go over a ways to get to the pantyhose. I actually overshot it a little bit. Oh, that's a cute shirt. Look. Oh. That's pretty. And then we have baby clothes. No little tiny baby clothes. I'm going to leave my cart here and come back for it. We're going to walk over here. Oh, I miss buying these little things for the boys. Oh, they've way outgrown that stuff. My 12 year old's wearing grown men pants. He's so tall. It's depressing. <laughs> I'm not ready for that. So we have slippers and shoes. I'm sorry I'm walking fast. Um, all right, pantyhose. Oh, these are cute socks. Look at these little, oops. Look at these little socks. Those are adorable. Oh, God, I have too many socks. I have way too many. Okay, um, pantyhose should be, oh, camouflage panties. You know, I can make a joke about that, but I'm not going to. Where are the pantyhose? Oh, God, look at these things. <laughs> look at these big things. <laughs> it's like a giant, uh, I don't know what, but it's, boy, it's something, though. We've got Rudolph, the Grinch. Dear God, okay. Pantyhose. No, not the everyday. I want, um, I want the silky pantyhose. I have no idea where they are. Not the everyday. Ooh. Um, shoot. These are bras. Holy cow, that's a bra. Could carry a lot of coal in that. Okay. This can't be all the pantyhose. I can't be the only person who still wears pantyhose. These are, see, now these are the legs every day. I don't want legs every day. I want the silky pantyhose. Well, this is depressing. This may literally be all they have. Oh, no, no, it's not, it's not. Here we go. Silk and mist, that's what I want right there. Legs, silk and mist. Um, not nude, those are too light. Um, these are always mixed up, let's see. Nude. Not jet black. I think it's called um, sun beige. There it is. Sun beige. It'd be nice if they had the sun beige in a two pack. Um, I like these because they just feel so much better. All they do, they feel wonderful. Okay, they have um, nude. Not sheer energy. It's the silken mist that I like. I don't see. I see nude, black mist. Um, jet black. I don't see these. So, I'm just going to get one pair for now. These are um, sun beige. I like these. Now i got to go back to my cart and see we have men's clothes here. We have jeans. Oh, look. <laughs> it's a Harry Potter onesie and a Budweiser onesie, too. It's the most wonderful time for a beer. You know, I've had Christmases where I would definitely say that. Somebody made a comment about, oh, five nights at Freddy's. Lord have mercy. Somebody made a comment about, you know, having a really bad 
you know, like drama in your family and it's going to mess up Christmas. Trust me, I have been there and I know it sucks. I know it's a nightmare. Oh God, look at these baby things. Oh my God. Look at that rubber dicky. Little rubber dicky. Okay. I gotta go back and find my cart. Oh, and then we have, um, I'm sorry if this video is making you, making you dizzy. Look at the little car seat. I remember, I remember back when I used to have to get these. This is actually very similar to the one I have for my son. It's a lot like that. Five to twenty-two pounds. Yeah, when I brought him home from the hospital, my older son, we had one like that. Oh my gosh. And then when they get bigger, you can use the different, um, the convertible ones and the booster seats. And you, know, you go to these and then you transition over to the booth, booster seats and then they're, then they're out. Both of my kids are out of all that now, so. Oh, cat treats. <laughs> Actually, I need some cat food. I don't have it on my list. I'm glad I saw that. All right, we're gonna stick this in here. Now, let's go look at the cat food. Um, these carts are heavy. It's kind of hard to turn them with <laughs> one hand. So, see, we have the Temptations. I did a video about the, the, the illustrations on there. See, like, he has this hooked up to no oxygen. What good is it doing him? But And if it was a cat, I don't know that he would be too happy about being in that water. But is this it? This is it. All right, now, over here, we have the dry cat food. Um, and it starts here. It goes down. I love dry food. This is what I buy for mine. Right here, they um, they seem to do really well on this Iams indoor stuff. Although I just noticed they have a bigger bag of it. Um, I normally just get the small bag though. Okay, so over here we have the wet food. Somebody's over there playing with dog toys. <laughs> okay, now my cats like um, this Sheba, and I get the perfect portions. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So it looks like this, and it's perforated here and you can break it apart and in the morning I split one with them they, they share one and in the evening when I get home from work they eat the other side so it's just a little snack I leave out dry food for them all day and they do okay with that but I get the um, the 12 pack of the pate they really like the pate kind so there's that um, I also need carpet cleaner I'll show you that. Oh, look at those cute little chairs. Oh my God, I miss when my kids were so small. They use those little tiny chairs. Mine, my kids had some of those. And then here we have the cookies, little snack foods like chips. You know, we love our snacks. We have all kinds of potato chips, dip, stuff like that. Carpet cleaner is down here. Oh, and then they always have the center aisle with stuff on it for baking, especially around the holidays. You really see a lot of stuff like chips. Morsels. No, I do not. <laughs> so you can bake all day today. Oh, no, thank you. <laughs> you bet. Where the hell did that come from? Right. People just talk to me. I don't, know, I don't know why. People just talk to me. <laughs> All right, carpet cleaner. You know what? I'm not exactly sure. Um, I don't know where carpet cleaner is. We're going to walk down this way. This is the dish detergent I use right here. This hand renewal. Love it. Doesn't dry my skin out. So we have all this is liquid dishwashing liquid and then you have the dishwashing detergent for your washing machine or um, not washing machine dishwasher look at this little scrubber it's a loop sponge brush that's neat neat okay here we have some floor cleaner 
Uh, we have all the Swiffer stuff, like you have the Swiffer sweepers, wet jet. See? Uh huh. And then you have all the little uh, refills for your Swiffer. We have Lysol and Clorox wipes, spray cleaners. This is the one I use a lot. Okay. See carpet cleaner down here. I use this on my floor. I use Murphy's oil soap. A bottle like this will last forever. Just use a little bit. Okay, um, carpet cleaner I use on my carpet, but I also use it on the upholstery in my car, and it actually works great. Uh, where's the one I bought last time? Let me see here. Resolve. No, it was this one. It was the generic Pro Strength carpet cleaner, and it works great. You just spray it. And when I get, if I have to clean a little spot on the upholstery in my car, it works great. Cleans it right up. So, I just used up the last of mine, so I'm getting more. Oh, over there we have popcorn. Uh, and Gatorade over there. Alright, put that down. Now, I need gallon size Ziploc bags. Those are back here. I believe. Let me see. See over here we have, on this side we have paper plates, styrofoam, and then we have uh, bath tissue, toilet paper, and you just come down and we have plastic forks and cups, uh, aluminum foil, and then you get into the storage bags. And I always just get the Great value is the Walmart brand. I don't care. I just get those. They really do work just fine. Um, they have the Mega Pack and the Super Mega Pack. Woo! Um, and then see, of course, you can compare the unit price if you want to know if you want to know which is the better deal. Like these are three seventy-five for a hundred. These are $3.56 for $100, so you save a little bit if you get the Super Mega Pack. I don't really care. I don't like having that giant box. Um, I don't really want one that big. Let's see. This is fine right here. Now, it is more, but I use, it will take me, I'm not kidding, it will take me a year to use up this box right here. I almost never use these gallon size zipper I almost never use them, but I just used my last one. And I couldn't tell you the last time I bought them. It was at least a year ago. So honestly, I'm not sweating it. I'm not, it's $1.37. I'm not worried about the unit price on something I use so rarely. It's all right. So, you put that in the cart. So far we have no food, you notice, except for the cats. Um... Olive oil is on the baking aisle. Now, the last time I bought olive oil, um, I bought it at Aldi, but I'm already here, so we're going to go ahead and get it. And here we have the olive oil. Ta da! Um, let's see. And of course, you have, a, you have a bunch of different brands. You have Bertoli, California Olive Ranch. I mean, we just have, there are a bunch of kinds that you can get. I, I don't really care. Um, I don't need, I just, I like a bottle about this size right here. Um, I'm not really worried about it. This one is fine. This, you know what, I'm going to try something. I'm going to try one of these. I don't think I've tried the um, the Walmart olive oil. I'm going to get a little bottle of it. I'm going to try it. This is only $2.56. If it's terrible, I'm not out a lot. But see, this is, this is the baking aisle. So you have cake mixes. You have all kinds of really nice decorations for your cakes or cupcakes or anything you want to make. And candles, and icing. 
all the way down we have all kinds of different baking things and we have different kinds of oil in here we have giant containers of oil as well for anything you might want to do <laughs> um, ready crust we have the graham cracker crust there that's always good so we're going to take our oil over here and put it in there okay now i need eggs waffles and lima rita you may be wondering what lima rita is i'm going to come over here and get it now this is um look i'll check it out look at this big container of pork rinds right here you could just get a bucket of pork rinds. Don't laugh, they're good. I love those things. Okay, we have uh, drinks. These are um, like water drinks. Fancy little snooty bottles of stuff. I'm actually getting a little sweaty. It's, <laughs> it's warm in here in this coat. I don't know if you saw my coat, but it's quite thick. Can unbutton it with one hand. Here, look at the smart water. There we go. Smart water, la di da. Oh, and then we have these little coffee drinks. We have this uh, Starbucks stuff and cold brew, whatever the heck that is. High, high brew. <coughs> I'm sorry, my allergies are acting up. <coughs> and then back here, we have beer. Oh, beer as far as the eye can see. I am not a big beer fan. I mean, I'll drink it to be polite, but I don't really care for it. So we have all kinds of beer. And that's wonderful. Um, I'm looking for La Marita, which is not here. I have to keep looking. Oh, look, we even have Zima. If you're my age, just the sight of that bottle will evoke a strong emotion in you, more than likely. <laughs> yeah. They have pomegranate Rita, grape Rita, lemonade Rita, which is not bad. I'm here for a lima Rita. All right, here. Oh, God almighty, that's heavy. I know it has a handle, but I'm stupid, so. Okay, lima Rita. That is for later. Um, not today, though. My boyfriend and I had planned to go out last night and go back to my place and have a drink, but that actually did not work out. We did go out to eat, but we didn't get to do that. But anyway, we have wine over here, but I'm saving that for later because we're gonna we're gonna do that later. We can, you can get you can get a box of wine. Now that's classy. They got the Manischewitz down here all by itself. Look at that. They got it down here with a boxed wine. That's insulting. Franzia, which is actually not bad for a wine in a box. It's actually not terrible. I have tried it. Um, but we have all our... <sighs> now, see, I think if... Um, if our sparkly friend drank, she would get something like this right here. Look at look at that. Oh my god. That's what she would get. Okay. Enough of that. Let's see. I'll come over here. I need to get some eggs, but there are people in the way. We oh, hate that. I have to wait for them to move. Waffles and eggs. over here and look at the eggs. Here we have the eggs. See? Now normally I'll just get the large, but you have to check them because they may be broken. They're not. That's good. Uh, these are a dollar eight for a dozen of these. I'm going to put these in here. And we're going to get something else. Um, I take these to work to eat. And I know I can boil them myself, but I hate peeling the egg. I get these hard-boiled, pre-cooked eggs. 
and there are six in here and I take these to work and I actually eat these in the mornings kind of like part of my breakfast when I get to work um, I don't like the feel of eggshell it, it's like a tactile thing I, I can't stand the, the feel of an eggshell so I don't mind paying to have someone else shell that sucker for me and they have big jugs of wine down there <laughs> Woo. okay it is surprisingly quiet in here and then over there we have all the bottles of water and then we're gonna come down here and get some Pepsi because that's what I do here lately they have not had my Pepsi that I wanted I get these two liters of Pepsi there's a certain kind I like and they don't have them this is the third week I've come in here and they've been out there's a spot for it but it's it's not here so I like the Pepsi zero sugar you don't have to tell me it's bad for me I'm fully aware thank you very much for letting me know that but I like it so I drink it and that's all I have to say about that I'm gonna come down this way I've got to get waffles Isn't this pretty? Look at this towel. Now here's the display I showed you in my Facebook page post the other day. They've changed it though. This is pretty. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. That's beautiful. Harvest would not approve. I mean, obviously she didn't make these on her loom. You're going to get cancer if you wipe up anything with that. Okay. Come down here. Let's look at the cereal aisle. Now, I love cereal. I have, a, I have a love affair with dry cereal. Check it out. <laughs> Start here. It goes all the way down. <laughs> I love cereal very much. I don't put milk in it. I eat it just the way it is. Let's see. Now, my older son likes frosted mini wheats. I think I have some. I think I'm good. I don't really need any right now. And we buy Honey Nut Cheerios, and we have plenty of that. Um, oh, God, they even have pumpkin spice Cheerios. Would you look at that? For the love of God. Oh, and then we have Pop-Tarts. I know I normally get toaster tarts at Aldi. I don't think I actually need anything there. My cereal selection at home is getting a little bare, though. Um, I'm like Seinfeld. I have all these different, I have all these different boxes of cereal, you know. What should I get? What should I get? Ooh, you know I'm gonna get. I'm going to get Apple Jacks, family size. Now you can get the giant size for 17.6 cents per ounce. My kids haven't been eating as much cereal lately, though. Um, or I could get honeycomb. I don't know. No, I'll get, I'll just get the family size. Because sometimes, it's like they take it in spells. They'll eat a bunch of cereal. Um, and then they get sick of it and they don't eat it for a while and it ends up going stale, so... I think they're heading into an ebb where they're just not eating that much cereal. I'm going to see if I can get over to the waffles. I'm saving some of my shopping for Aldi because I get I get a lot of stuff there. Um, this is just stuff that I'm picking up here. I go to Aldi and Walmart every weekend because I'm a sucker for punishments. <laughs> So you have your aisles here with all the different things on it. Um, we could sometime do a, a more casual walkthrough of this. Like you have frozen pizza down there. I'm looking for breakfast foods. Potatoes and entrees, frozen vegetables, desserts, ice cream. I don't know where the waffles are. Look at all this ice cream. Oh my god, okay, I don't need to be over here. 
Actually, ice cream is not that big of a temptation to me. I'm not a big ice cream eater. Oh, here's the breakfast over here. Like we have pancakes and maple syrup, sausage. You have all these different biscuits, like chicken and buttermilk biscuits. You have the Jimmy Dean biscuit, sausage, egg, and cheese. Um, sausage in a bowl, like we have breakfast bowls. I haven't tried that. It's two dollars. Hmm. Let's see. We have fully cooked sausage patties. I buy those sometimes. Ah, waffles. Let's see. Now, we don't eat waffles often. We really don't. We don't eat a lot of waffles. And I just get the great value. I don't care. Like, I get the great value buttermilk waffles. These are totally, this is fine. It would take us probably two months to eat these. <laughs> so, I just get those. Somebody's got a squeaky cart. I'm gonna walk you around up here real quick before we go. Um, so over here we have more ice cream. This, basically, this entire side is nothing but ice cream and popsicles. That's all this is. Ooh, that looks good. The mini swirls, that's cute. Oh, that one has sprinkles on it. Never tried that. But no, like I said, I'm not a big ice cream eater. I'm, I could take it or leave it. Um, and over here we have the we have um, the deli section. There's produce. We have meat that goes down that way. Over here we have the produce department. Um, we have all kinds of things in here. Like you can get juices over here in this section. Um, like you have these naked juices. You can get. Um, you can get bigger containers of it if you want. They have a really impressive selection of organic produce. And it's really good and it's it's reasonably priced. Of course, Aldi, Aldi does too. Aldi has a lot of organic produce. And then down here, look, we have mangoes. These are pretty. Although I have to admit, I'm not a huge mango eater. And then over here, I'm going to show you the deli counter. You can get um, pre-cooked uh, chickens, rotisserie chickens. They're not ready yet because it's early in the morning. You can get deli meats and cakes and pies and all that. So what I'm going to do now, oh, look at these oranges. Although um, produce is cheaper at Aldi, but they have a bigger selection here. So it's kind of a trade-off. Look at this. They have produce in here. I don't even know what it is. Um, no, I don't know what this is. Key. I don't know. <laughs> I see stuff in here every now and then. It's like, what is that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Some kind of alien fruit or vegetable that I've never seen. Um, we have onions. Vidalia onions are my favorite. They don't have them all year, though. They only have them certain times of the year but you can get bagged onions you can get individual onions um, so I'm going to go pay for the little bit of stuff I've got and then later today I have to go to Aldi to get my actual food that we might eat <laughs> so thank you so much for coming shopping with me today I really appreciate it I hope you enjoyed it walking around and seeing the store a little bit we didn't look at every single aisle but we looked at some of it so, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you again later.